Hello. So today I'm doing this different type of video because I'm driving my mobility scooter. I am going towards uh, Stratford Center because I have to do something. So yeah, that is something that I do at least once in um, 15, 15 minutes, but because there have been a lot of activities lately, I have been there last week and I'm going today again. I was not planning to go anymore before Christmas. It's very hard to drive the scooter in this not very stable roads. I have to be very careful. I have to pay attention to the traffic. I have to pay attention to the roads to see where it's less, <laughs> you know of holes and amendments this amendment on the pavement you can feel it's not very nice for who drives this type of pavement so when I'm driving planet <laughs> there are so many things going on the planet right now is it yeah you have been um, in a very strange just the, the COVID now but there is so many issues going on between Russia and um, Russia and Bhutan and uh, you know Europe that is you know 
help make our life a little more complicated because you, you are uncertain of everything that's going to happen. Up to wait for the traffic lights open for me because I'm crossing um, no, now it's open. I'm crossing the market road. gonna stop and the earth is changing every single day and we have to change you know you have to you have to be in the place of the planet we are part of the planet you are you are you are the same body with the planet so if earth changes we have to change with her you have to adapt ourselves to changes 
what nature does. You know, if you if you if you study the, the plants, the botanic uh, world, you can see that all the, the, the trees adapt themselves to the environment, to what's happening in the planet. You can study it on the trunk of the trees. And from the trunk of the trees, you can know when was dry season, when was too wet, when was too cold. Because the trees, because the trees are the, world, the oldest living things in the planet, they adapt themselves to everything. So they can survive. It's like us, we have to adapt ourselves. Actually, you have been doing, uh, you know, long time. Because when, when life is starting every, we started by the, in the sea. But then when the sea starts to be not very, uh, <laughs> how are you going to say? It was, it turns in a uh, not very nice place for us to live. So you move from the sea to the to the land. So you have been adapting ourselves also as a life. That's what I'm saying. You have been adapting ourselves also. You went from the sea to the land. And if need, you can go from the land to the sea again. That's that's the nature of our planet. It's, it's adapting itself to whatever happens. So. If you are stuck in our, you know, in our stubbornness, you're never going to survive. And remember, when, when the species in Earth is damaging the planet, the, the planet decided to get rid of them. You know, something happened and destroy that civilization to give to, to give way to the new to the new species this happened many times before so if you don't adapt ourselves we don't survive i was thinking about this another day and thought oh when when the destruction of the dinosaurs for example when the destruction of the dinosaurs came who survived these small creatures the smaller ones that they wanted survived, not the bigger ones. Even being the, the stronger ones, they didn't survive. But the smaller ones survived. That's why you are here now. So adaptation is the is the key to surviving. So if you want to, if, if you want, if we as uh, species want to survive this mutation that the earth is going through, we have to adapt to ourselves. I'm trying to adapt myself to this new phase of my life. To be honest, it's not easy, but it's possible, and that's what I'm doing. I am in Yuhan. Okay, let go. Now, it, no, no, in Yuhan. Yes, I'm in Yuhan. I am in West Ham Station, nearby West Ham Station, and they are doing some uh, road uh, work here, and that has been so painful, so painful. For me to cross this, it has been going for more than a month now. So it's completely oh, difficult for me to come because you know the trees here is very difficult to to cross because the pavement is so narrow. And the trees are too big and too old, so 
the roots, make the pavement, you know, raise up. So it's not very good. difficult is to go through this this mall I have to be very slow not to burn too much because the trees are very big here very old and uh, the roots make the pavement Oh dear. Hello, move over. Thank you. Over. 
well. <laughs> then. <laughs> oh, God. The teachers were <laughs> concerning about me trying to do that. Anyway. Oh, yeah. Oh, road working around here. Talking and driving. 21 minutes. So here we go. Adaptation and moving forward with in symphony with the planet is the key okay we have to move us like a one body not like because you are one body with the planet okay i'm gonna <laughs> i'm gonna do a compression okay very funny one and probably someone is gonna feel like disgusting about it but it's absolutely true. That's okay. it. Imagine the planet like your body. Okay. You are your body, our body is like a, a living being, yes. It's like no it is a living being. And our body is like a planet. So we are millions actually 8 billion planets you know circulating around or in this body that's called earth okay so in your body there is creatures that lives in your skin creatures that live in your hair Creature that lives inside your guts, creature, creature that lives inside your blood, creature that lives inside your brain. Yeah. <laughs> they are all living creatures. I'm not talking about the cells that you have billions of cells in our body. So, air is like our body. So you don't know, you don't, you can't say that the, you know, the creature that lives in our skin is not part of you because they are. You know that our bacteria that live in our body, they are they are. They are like they are like your your a, a print in your fingers. They are exclusive from you. The bacteria that lives in uh, someone's body is not like the one that lives in your body. So that it is that it is like this. You know what I mean? So you have a creature that lives in your body. Inside your body, outside your body. And that that it was it is us. Yeah, they, they're open and I, I haven't seen. <laughs> so now I have to wait again. So you know they, whenever you move, they move in you. 
they are keeping moving on your body. You know, when you, you have scratches on your head, when you scratch your, your, your skin, it's because they are moving in your skin. You know, when you scratch your eyes, it's because they are probably procreating too many in your eyes and you have to get rid of half of them when you scratch your eye. So, you know, and that's the way you have to be in the planet also. Whatever the planet moves, you have to move the planet. And that's, that's, that's the truth. So, as much as you feel like, oh, <laughs> me talking about it, but that is true. And you have to be open to understand our own body in, in, in order to understand the, the planet itself. you are part of this. Oh, I am closer now to Stratford, okay? It's gonna be half an hour in three minutes, so for the traffic lights to open for me. I'm feeling that life is good. I don't want to waste my opening. I don't know why you have to open. No one is open. Go to the middle and wait to the middle. So that is no car coming. Because I don't know. Oh, now it's open for me and I can go. It's very strange how people look at me on my scooter. Especially the older woman, they look at her, oh, I want something like this. So I want be free to move wherever I want it and go wherever I want it. Yes, it's freedom. You know? And this scooter is electrical, so it's very, it's very, um, it's very good to run, it's not expensive. But for me it is very handy because you know you see I take half an hour to come to the short court. Just half an hour to come to Stratford. And 
gonna be getting to winter time human behavior, you know, and that makes me like think I have, I have been like this also myself, no consideration to others, you know, so you have this habit of walking in the middle of your pavement without thinking that there is someone behind you that needs to go through, so yeah. Consideration. Okay, now I have everything structured. So I'm gonna do my hands now, doing my, what I can to do. First, I'm gonna go to the Halifax Bank, so something there, and then it's gonna be a journey back. I'm not gonna take the journey back, okay? Okay, thank you for watching. Thank you. For being with me this journey. Now we are inside, as you see. I hope you can see the decoration, Christmas decoration on top. It's really going very slow because there is loads of people around. this video is long but it's very interesting and it's gonna be in my YouTube channel for my grandchildren to see it later on in life when I'm gone <laughs> because one day I'm not gonna be in this world and they're gonna have this video so you know, enjoy what Grandma was up to when she was alive. Beautiful flowers here. I have to. I have to. I am so tempted to buy more plants. Life is beautiful and I love to be here. You're not experimenting everything like this. Okay, just a start forward. I have to go very 
Thank you, thank you, thank you for being with me that long.